All right, guys, this is the Helix 10 here at the console. Now, when you power the units up at first, once they're up and running, the very first thing I want you to do is press the menu button twice. This brings up the main menu for the unit right here. Setup tab is the first thing I want you to go to. And if you notice, we have a user mode down here. Default setting is angler mode from the factory. We want to change that. Let's take that down here and select custom mode. If you notice, the menu has changed. Gives us a lot more options. We're uh, a little bit more effective in checking the network and making sure we have the correct transducers connected and setting up the network of the system itself. With that said, I'm gonna close out this menu here by just hitting the exit button. Gonna go over to our far right tab, which is our network tab. Gives me the serial number of the unit I'm looking at and down below our network source setup is my next selection. It's going to list the systems we have on this unit, 2D, DI, SI, and if you notice, it shows both the Helix 10 here at the console and the Helix 12 at the bow. This confirms that these two units are networked and communicate back and forth. Helix units will share our transducer selections, temperature probes, GPS antennas, basically everything except our charts. Once we've got that confirmed, we're pretty much set up to go on this unit. Next thing we have to do is just put it on order.